last time I was a graduate uh, from Tokyo Institute of Technology in 1997, and after that, he has been working at IRCC of Kotai and also Alma State University and Texas. So today, you know, last time I will talk about uh, his career production at IRC and IOC from the Central Central Government. Thank you very much. Uh, today, I will talk about production from general potential. And this work, uh, uh, this talk is based on this paper with Habatan in Hokkaido University, Hiranaki in Shimane University, the Kaneta Kun at IBMU, and Takahashi Kun who was in Hokkaido University. And also we are preparing a paper with paper bat who was in uh, NTU PUTC Dry. And the paper will be Appearing up maybe a few, a few days, I hope. Okay. So this is a menu of today's talk. First, we will uh, see the introduction. I will introduce about the Higgs forces. And next, uh, we will see that the Higgs potential, general Higgs potential, mm -hmm. and a few big Higgs particles. And next, uh, we will uh, introduce the non partable Higgs model using the supersymmetric QCs. And its main topic is the pair Higgs production at the LSC PP to gluon gluon 96 and IRC P plus E minus to pair Higgs HH mu nu and GHH. The final I have a summary. Needless to say, the last year of July, um, the, it is reported that the Higgs boson uh, is discovered at the LSC. And it is actually the, it was the actually breakthrough of the year for the 2012. And as you know, that the DPR Nobel Prize in Physics is uh, for his Higgs Angel and Higgs. Actually, this is the illustration uh, which was shown in the Nobel Prize uh, talk. And actually, the important one is Higgs in the middle, and all the other particle masses are uh, generated by Higgs mechanism. Actually, we should say Brout and Brout, Angler Higgs mechanism. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so. We, we found the Higgs, at least the Higgs right scale, Higgs right bottom. But uh, it is, uh, we have to see that it is really the standard model Higgs, so it may be uh, just similar, just, uh, it may be different. So we need to look at it carefully. Now uh, I will see, I will talk about Higgs force. And actually, we know that uh, in the uh, textbook it is written that there are four forces in, na in nature. An electromagnetic force, and uh, electromagnetic force, weak force, and strong force, and gravity. These are the forces. These are the known. However, for the Higgs, we uh, uh, encounter the new forces related to Higgs. So what is the Higgs force? Actually, the uh, Higgs forces are in three types. First one is self-interaction, Higgs self-interaction. This is needed to stabilize the Higgs potential and give a vacuum expectation value, vacuum expectation value. So this is actually Higgs force. To stabilize this potential, we need self-coupling, self-Higgs coupling. So this is actually force. So this is self-interaction force. And second one is Yukawa interaction. It is needed to give masses to the particles. Okay. Third one is well known, S uh, gauge forces actually. S with gauge force. This is needed to give masses to W and G bottom. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the first Higgs self coupling is the question how does the Higgs field acquire? In the standard model, the three-level scalar Higgs potential is this. 
that the impulsive duty is not in this case, the expectation that value then hit for financial obligation. And the minimization condition of the report, the first derivative is the we obtain the relation of we and coupling lambda and the original is mass squared. And uh, so this is this. This is the uh, fundamental stuff. And uh, we here, we are assuming the general potential, that is, the V potential is a uh, general function of X. Of course, because of the uh, gauge invariance, this potential has to be, has to be the function of H squared. Okay. And in the solution of time and gauge, the H doublet uh, is written as V is a cell and H is a physical hit uh, uh, more. And chi is a uh, chi and chi minus uh, uh, number of some bottom more. This is this notation, so we find one gauge, then H square is calculated like this. And so we expand Taylor expansion actually around the Stationary condition, minimization condition actually, is the first derivative is the, that is actually the uh, linear term of H, small h, is mass punch. And the mass of the hit, physical hit, we need to put the H squared, the H squared is just coming from here, is the square. So the uh, physical hit is V squared, V square times second derivative of this function, second derivative of V function. So this is written in general for general fixed potential. Okay? Now we are, we are seeing that the physical fixed mass is written the second derivative. Okay? And uh, again, we write this one and see this term. Then we expand. And we see the Higgs, physical Higgs, and energy motion coupling, and the energy motion interaction, and Higgs six energy motion interaction, and the Curie six interaction. So in general, we, we can write um, the Curie six coupling is written by second derivative and also third derivative. This general potential can be used for the one effective action. So this one, this term, these terms are for the three level. Okay? And we add the one effective potential term of the top of the six. This is actually the so-called common y y bar times potential function. And then you know, we can calculate that uh, third derivative is this. 
the yt is the socket plus so socket plus yt. So we can rewrite the that derivative to be using the so small command and so small command. And as I said, second derivative is the just the MRT. Uh, second derivative is related to the uh, x p plus x plus. Then so we can rewrite this CS to and negative this form. <laughs> okay, so in the standard um, function, for the standard index, there is a 10% correction of the three levels. <laughs> <laughs> But the dominant contribution at the LT is this gluon gluon fusion contribution. Actually, the next leading order calculation um, is about to be about 30 to 40 seconds. Actually, I picked up a graph and a paper by them. And actually, I'm sure it's a color that This is the leading order calculation. The cubic six cutting six, and uh, this factor, this one is defined as CH. And actually, this CH is a model independent parameter. And as I said, at the LHC, blue blue six six processes are dominant. So there are two diagrams box diagram and uh, uh, triangle diagram. And here, there is a cubic six. So the uh, and you when you calculate the more uh, sophisticated calculation, but to, to understand the behavior, you will see that the gluon gluon six effective interaction. But uh, this interaction is shown by Hagiwara and Murayama san. But, uh, if we neglect the top fork momentum, then the Higgs blue blue interaction. And so, this one, Higgs blue is different, and the Higgs six blue blue is different. And it is important, the important one is the signature property for Higgs blue blue and Higgs six blue blue. So the contribution from this study, these two diagrams, is the opposite sign. So this pattern, this minus one, gives you the box diagram, and this contribution comes from the triangle diagram. Okay, this CH, Because of this uh, opposite signature, uh, the, uh, the amplitude is cancelled. So <coughs> the reason why the sphere Higgs production is small compared to the single Higgs production. Yeah, this is top momentum. Uh, top is running in the loop, right? Yes. And so basically, it, or yeah, through it can, in, in the precise it. calculation, we have to improve the top of the yeah. This is the explanation is that we for explanation why it's small. The reason is that this signature is opposite. When we take it out the top four small. Okay. So this is actually precise calculation. 
calculations are given um, 20 years ago or so, maybe in 90s by these people, and for the 125 degrees, for the 125 degree X, then people are calculated, and we take that into consideration. Okay. Actually, uh, you can see that the negative CH is always uh, enlarged. This is a simple reason that and this is proton proton to the six cross section is given by the this. So the using this blue blue is this cross section and the blue blue intensity like the blue on blue on pattern distribution. So we can integrate this like this and we calculate sigma hat like this and using this. Actually, you can see that this amplitude vanished at s hat is 4 plus a c h m squared. Because of the kinematical reason, we, we integrating from, we integrating s hat from 4 m s squared. If c h is positive, then it somewhere it becomes zero for this Yeah, see it so effective um, sorry, we didn't uh, specify the potential exact potential, but we for if even we can consider any potential, the parameter parameter is a C H. Okay, but for this general calculation, if I remember the actually the, the analytic expression is very complicated. Completely. Yeah, so you so this is just the explanation <laughs> why for negative C H increase increase enlarge. Uh, Here are just explanation. The detailed calculation is of course more complicated. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so this, this is actually we neglect the top of the moment. Okay. So uh, actually, uh, the here I want to explain why cross section is enlarged of negative CH. Okay, you, you can see that this amplitude vanishes at s hat is 4 plus 6 to 3 ch yeah. so we integrating this s hat from 4 m s square to the, the variance mass of the ch yeah. so if ch is positive somewhere this amplitude vanishes so that's why the positive <coughs> um, ch should be decreased but the negative ch so the vanishing point is outside of Always Actually, here I plotted the uh, cross section sigma hat um, as a function of s hat. Actually, for, for ch is negative, ch is minus 2 actually, the, um, the partial amplitude, pattern amplitude is here. So, ch, so this is actually the standard model. So, ch is plus 2, then here it vanishes. Okay. But if ch is very, become larger and larger, then this vanishing point becomes to be larger and larger. And for this one, the uh, pattern density is, uh, is actually, if it is intense like this, then it can enlarge this uh, cross section. So for large and 
last year, very last year, one, two or three, then it can add a certain percentage. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> as I said, that for a negative shape, it always is last. And, uh, and the minimal contact is nearly 1.5 or so. It means that Cubic coupling is twice or 2.5 times larger than okay. Then it becomes to be the minimum potential is probably going to be okay. So here, just uh, let me explain, I explain the toy potential. The, we consider the CH is uh, just modeling dependent parameter. And let us consider the, this kind of potential. Mass term, quadratic term, and this part, this term, it, uh, yes, it has to be a function of the square, as I said, and we consider this power function. Then, the, this, uh, the CH is actually this one, and the ratio of, and here lambda is just the dimension of the parameter, for general A. So if A is different from 2, then we have to, we need a uh, dimension of the If A is uh, 2, then it is just a same standard, a three-level standard for the potential. Okay. <coughs> now this ratio doesn't depend on this scale parameter. This just, just depends on the performance of the function, self-interaction of the system. Okay. So CH is uh, actually given by so if you consider A is negative, it means that uh, the potential is runaway type potential plus this quadratic term, then it makes always it always makes the it uh, make always makes it negative. This then uh, its production is very large. Actually it's uh, it is challenging to see the uh, scale its production. So it is interesting to Investigate the most in investigated parameter. Uh, it enlarges the uh, its production. Actually, it increases this one. So, if, if we consider the runaway type potential, then CH is always negative, and it enlarges the uh, its production coefficient. Excuse me. Uh, in that case, how to stabilize the Higgs potential? So this is the runaway type. Potential. The standard model, uh, self interaction in this quadratic term, and uh, that's why we need the mass negative mass square. Here, we uh, impose the runaway type potential, that's why the quadratic term, the mass square should be positive. Actually, we can, the reason why we consider, I consider this one, is uh, we consider the chiral symmetry breaking here, the non perturbative potential in supersymmetry QCD. In, that, in, in, in this uh, chiral symmetry breaking in 2D QCD, the non perturbative potential is in, in, induced from instant to effect. So actually, chiral symmetry breaking actually happens. And the situation is, is uh, as I said, non perturbative potential is generated by this kind of runaway. And we have to the breaking mass. Any, any mass term, here I will introduce to the breaking, but any mass term that some kind of bounding effect, then we stabilize the potential. And because of this contribution, the CH becomes negative, plus its production coefficient is large. Okay, so this uh, no pattern potential is actually well known for the 2 QCD. Actually, it is no perturbative effect is difficult to solve in the non-2G model, but in 2G model, it, is, it was investigated. 